In this video, you'll learn about a third and final type of collections in Swift, sets. First, what is a set? A set is an unordered list of unique values of the same type. For example, here's a set of images of Swift birds holding different objects. For example, a game controller, a frying pan with an egg, or an iPhone with an RW logo on it. Imagine we had this set and we tried to insert another copy of the Swift bird holding a controller. Well, nothing would happen because sets can only contain unique values. This can be extremely useful if you want to keep track of a set of objects and you want to make sure that no duplicates appear in that set. Let's see how you can use sets in Swift. Creating a set is a little bit different than creating a array or a dictionary in Swift because you don't have that shortened syntax. So if we want to create a set, for example, we'll call it sum set, then we have no shortened syntax like this. Instead, we have to say set, and inside brackets like this, we put the type of the set it is. So say we want to store integers, that's how you do it. And then to initialize it to something, usually you initialize it to an array, and it converts that array into a set. So if we say one, two, three, one, remember that sets can't contain duplicates. So the set will actually contain two, three, and one, not two ones because there can only be one one in there. Something you commonly do with sets is you just want to see if something is inside a set. So if you say some set got contains something inside the set like one, then you'll get true. But if you put something that's not in the set like 99, then you'll get false. Now, often you want to also insert things into sets. So if we say some set dot insert and say put five in there, we're actually going to get an error in this case. Why? Remember we declared this with let. So just like arrays and dictionaries, if you define the collection with a let, that means it's immutable, it cannot change. You cannot add new items inside there. So we need to change that to var instead. And now we can insert something into that set. Similarly, you can remove things from sets. We can just say some set dot remove and say we don't wanna have that three in there. And now we can print out some set. And we can see it has five, the new thing we added, a two and one, but it does not have three, the thing we removed. 